Hello, this is Dom from Black Toad Studios and welcome to episode 53 of the 83rd Warhost Reinforcements. And in this video, people, it is time we can unveil the Titan. The Titan has been born. So we can go and check that out in a moment and see what it's looking like. Um, also, we're going to go through a little bit of the codex uh, because we've got the codex, we've got our two wounds. And um, we can go through that and uh, can hear my thoughts briefly on that. Uh, and we can see what else is coming up uh, for the 83rd Warhost. I know it's been a while, I do apologise. Uh, the Titan has taken a lot of time up. And uh, yeah, I'm really proud of it. So without further ado, let's go and have a quick look at the Titan. So long last, here we are finally. This is the Titan in question. This is the Warhound. It, it was an absolute pleasure and torturous event uh, to model and paint this. Uh, if you want to know how to paint one of these beasts, please check out the series I made over uh, down below in How to Build a Chaos Warhound. And oh, this is such an epic uh, centerpiece for my army. I'm so glad I went through all the effort of painting it and making it. Um, yeah, really looking forward to playing this. Um, we have planned our apocalypse game. So this beast will have its uh, debut on the channel in a game. Absolutely brilliant centerpiece for any army. Uh, still got a bit of work to do on it, but for now it is complete. Double plasma people, that is the way we're going. Um, so just going over the base here and work our way up. So on the base, you can see like a ruined kind of imperial outpost here. There's a little bit of detail. Again, lots of little bits so in the background. You get some uh, bits of Astra Militarum helmets. The idea behind this base is there was an imperial guard position, which was quickly overrun um, by this warhound which came in and outflanked. Uh, moving up to legs, kind of a little bit of work here. I've uh, got some black in the centre of the uh, the star there. Uh, some tears rolling down the face of the demon symbol there. Uh, I painted this in several different parts. The legs were the first part that I, I put together. And then we moved up. The guns using a nice, like the glow effect I've had for my Necrons and um, putting them onto the plasmas here. Uh, there's a few other little symbols here and there, like looking down in the face here. We've got some bits going on there. Lots of battle damage on this as well, using uh, like Nurgle's Rot on some of the green bits there, making super goopy, which was the idea. Um, just spinning it around to the back here. Such a big model, this. So glad I got one. Really recommend it for anyone that's looking to uh, get themselves a nice centerpiece model. Um, see how it does in a game. But at this point, I don't care how it does in a game. This is absolutely epic. Something I wanted to do since starting the channel, get myself a Chaos Warhound. And here we are. So glad I've done it. Um, and like I said, we've got an Apocalypse game coming up. This beast will be uh, unveiled then on the channel. Uh, hopefully we'll get a couple more games in with this as well. Fighting alongside the Brotherhood of Zeal, which of course are my Chaos Knights against Tom's Titan and Tom's Knights. It's going to be very exciting. So yeah, guys. Let me know what you think and let's have a look what's next on the paint station. Here's a little, uh, little hint, it's not going to be half as big as this. So there we go. That was the Warhound, the thing that we've all been waiting for. Cannot wait to get that thing on the battlefield. It's going to be absolutely epic. So about further ado, oh my goodness people, it's happened. So we have got ourselves the new codex. Well, it's not new by this point, but it is still the replacement codex. It is absolutely lovely. This book is brilliant. There's so much stuff in this. Uh, as for word bearers, I think we've come off rather strong, my friends. Um, we've got a good legion trait now. Uh, the five up against mortal wounds. Brilliant. Uh, I recently played a tournament against Thousand Sons with my Necrons. Brutal. Um, so it's quite nice to know we've got some form of defense now. The reroll hits going in is excellent as well. Uh, means we're just gonna have to slightly change some aspects of my army. But uh, once again, really strong, loving it. Uh, and all the other little extra touches in there, really nice. I quite like the way you can still use cult troops. Um, hopefully I'm streaming a game soon with Tom with my word bearers, I will be using cult troops then. Those rubrics with flamers are gonna come into their own soon. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, super excited. Let me know what you guys think of the word bearers in the new codex. There's a lot of brilliant stuff there. 
unfortunately we've, we've lost a couple of key units as you guys know i love the mutilators they have now gone so i could roll them in as obliterators possibly um we've also lost jump lords so the vulture may have to ascend at some point to demonhood um and the chosen war gear slightly changed however we can probably work around that to a degree but anyway that's that could be worse um i am going to be working on five chaos space marines coming up so they are from this box set hmm. um, at the moment they are all in pieces this is how i actually store my models when they're in pieces so i've got uh i've got a few here they're all in parts um and a couple in there as well so they're currently in parts um let's go for this guy for example um, got his torso over his backpack and his legs. His arms have already been glued. This is the one with the big chain uh, chainsaw, the big hefty one. Uh, head and shoulder pads are separate. So they're going to be painting all those up separately. I'm going to go and spray those in a moment. As you can see from this bit, the sun has hit Sussex and it is really hot outside. <laughs> uh, so fingers crossed it all goes well instead of drying before it hits the model, which causes a horrible like dust effect. And hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm rambling again. So anyway, good to see you all. 83rd is back. Word bearers are back. Chaos is back on the channel. Until next time, guys, this is Dom from Black Toast Studios. Take care.